friends and I are gonna go out for New Year's Eve. I did like a little makeup area here. Ali has joined the chat. Hi. So stinky. Final makeup. This is the romper we're working with. It's open back. I just need my friend to tie it for me. That was real easy. Should I shake it? No. No, you have to shake it. Yeah, you have to shake it. Half the bottle is gonna be gone. Oh right, don't do that. Hello everyone, happy new year. Um, it is January 1st today. So I'm kind of sorting everything out right now. It's almost 8 p.m. and one of the habits I want to pick up is drawing. I bought these and I kind of want to experiment. Normally I'd always draw with pencil, but I want to try these out. I got these on Amazon. I sorted out my notebooks these are gonna be my 2023 notebooks definitely very extra but i already had these i've had these for about two years so they just stack up i'm gonna use this planner for actual planning because like daily so i'm just gonna put like events things i have to do appointments and i have this cancer notebook that my sister got me last christmas i did use it in the past but i'm gonna make this my drawing notebook because it's a dotted notebook and i don't have any normal paper notebooks and like i think it's a waste just buying another one i have so many and then i have my five minute journal this i used to use a lot and the last time i used it was july 30th and the time before that was april 27th so i completely did not get consistent but i was very consistent like this is from 2021 i'm gonna use this for just some prompts if i don't have a lot to journal about in the morning so i definitely want to continue with this one and i have two other notebooks this one i'm gonna use for journaling because it's like the perfect writing paper i really want to start journaling at least once a day i can do the five minute in the morning if i'm just not having a very thoughtful morning this one i want to journal my day every night or any time that i want to let things out because i usually keep it internally and that's one of the things that i don't want to do this year because eventually over time it builds up and it hurts you more and i just do not want to do that and then this one i'm just going to keep it for my manifestations this one i normally use for manifestations so i'm going to keep it that way very extra me of having so many different notebooks not necessary at all but because i already have these some of these were gifted to me for christmas and stuff i want to reuse them and be able to use them one of my resolutions is also to drink more water i'm just really not good at drinking water it's a sunday night so i'm gonna try to make it like cozy vibes and i want to decorate my airpods max i got a case for christmas and i want to put little stickers on it and just kind of unwind tonight nothing crazy <laughs> to use.
around has the zoomies. Oh, this is huge. My aunt sent me this for my coffee. Um, but I thought it'd be way smaller. Is it two? Two sizes. Oh, just kidding. What? There's three sizes. One of the things that I do every new year is make a mood board. So the way that I did it last year was I just make a Pinterest board because I love Pinterest. There's so many ideas on here. So I kind of want to put all my goals in a picture format. I think having visuals is really important when creating goals, especially for the new year. I'm a very visual person, so I like to actually see what it is that I want to achieve, what it is that I want to come fourth this year you can honestly use absolutely anything for your mood board you can use pinterest like how i am um, because i kind of just like to add it um, throughout the month or you can make a mood board you can use canva which is really common so let's go and make our mood board <laughs> tofu sushi i thought i would make like teriyaki chicken or something but this looked so good one of the things i want to target in 2023 is um my social anxiety it affects in like really weird ways in my life when i especially grocery shopping when i do things alone i rush myself to get it done i'll go to the grocery store and i won't even be paying attention to what i'm doing i realized i didn't buy anything that i needed for what i want to make for dinner tonight because i was just rushing to get the shopping done that i didn't even realize what i needed so it's one of the habits I really want to fix.